Hello, welcome to What the Tesla. For the last few months I've been hanging around waiting for some anticipated changes for the Tesla Model 3. Last week, the 2021 version of the Tesla Model 3 subtly appeared on the Tesla website. Well, after being leaked on Twitter, of course. For the last eight years, I've been a BMW fanboy. I've had three BMW cars in that time, and for the last three years, I have been driving a BMW 435D. Yes, it's a diesel, but it's been a lot of fun, especially because it can do 0 to 60 in about four and a half seconds. Unlike BMW, where every year they do an incremental change and a facelift every couple of years, Tesla do things differently, of course. They don't make big annual changes like a traditional manufacturer, and the reason for this is something called the Osborne effect. If changes are announced before they're made to a car, people will hold off buying until it's ready until the changes have been implemented. Tesla believes that this is bad for business because people will then hold off and hold off, meaning that they'll have lots of stock and fewer sales. I guess you could say I've Osborne because I've been holding off for these changes. Now rather than them being formally announced, Tesla subtly made the changes on the website. So let's take a look at tesla.com a few weeks ago versus the website today and we can take a look at a few of those changes that have been made to the Tesla Model 3 for the 2021 version. This is the tesla.com website as of the 1st of October. As you can see that's the Tesla Model 3 that we're all used to. It's got the chrome around the windows and the door handles and the one that they show on the website is the one with all the bells and whistles. It is the Tesla 3 Performance, the most expensive variant. It has the white interior and it has the most expensive paint color, which is the red. Let's flip over to the website as of today. So this is the Tesla website as of today. It's the same Tesla Model 3 Performance in the red, but this is the updated version. As you can see, it has black trim around the windows. It's got the black door handles. And although they're motion blurred, it does have the Uber turbine wheels there as well. So let's click through and we can create a custom order and have a look at some of the options. So going back to the old design, this is the configurator with the silver trim, the one that we've grown accustomed to over the last few years. Okay, so let's flip over to the new configurator and we can see the changes there. Not only has the car been flipped around, but there have also been some other changes too. Again, you can see the chrome delete, so it's now the satin black around the windows and the door handles. The wheels have changed very slightly. And then if we click onto the performance version, we get a better look at those Uber turbine wheels. Something else you may have noticed is the range. So on the standard range plus, on the old version, it was 254 miles, and on the new version, that has increased to 267 miles. No change to the top speed or the 0 to 60 time on the standard range plus. On the long range variant, the range was 348 miles, and that has now increased to 360 miles. You may also notice there that the 0 to 60 has decreased from 4.4 seconds to 4.2 seconds. Finally, if we click on the performance, again, we've had a range increase from 320 miles to 352 miles, and the 0 to 60 has decreased from 3.2 seconds to 3.1 seconds. We also get a really good close look at those Uber turbine wheels there on that performance model as well. Over on the right hand side where it says select your car, there's also been some updates. Before there was nothing there, it just said rear wheel drive and went straight into the variants. Whereas now it says all cars have a power trunk, glass roof and autopilot. So the only real change there is the power trunk. All of the color options are the same. The white, we have the solid black. There's the midnight silver, the deep blue metallic and the most expensive, which is the red multi coat. In terms of wheel options, you can choose either the aero wheels or for an additional 1,450, you can choose the slightly redesigned 19 inch sport wheels. If you go for the performance version, those Uber turbine wheels are included as standard. Let's look at the changes inside the car. So again, this is the Tesla Model 3 that we're all used to. It's got the piano black center console. This is the all black version. And this is the old style white interior. The 2021 Tesla Model 3 
has a redesigned center console, as you can see. No longer is it that glossy piano black, but it's a more matte black finish. It's also got rid of the soft closed doors, and now you just give the center console a little push, and it will automatically close when you give it a nudge. There are two wireless charging holders for your phone. And now there's vegan leather stitching all the way down the sides of the center console. I think it looks great. One of the other changes is the steering wheel. If you look very closely at the steering wheel, you can see the minor changes. So on this new version at 10 o'clock and two o'clock, you've got these new stripes and on the old model, they're not there. There are rumors of other changes to the steering wheel as well, such as heating and also new sensors, but these have not been confirmed yet. Also within the car, there are two high powered USB-C ports in the center console, a new USB port in the glove box to stop people stealing your sentry mode footage if they break in. Finally, one update that's not mentioned on the website is the heat pump and octa valve. And I think that's the only real explanation for the increase in range is that these have been implemented to help efficiency, especially in colder climates or even warm climates. It just helps the efficiency of the heating and cooling system. All of these changes have now made my decision for me. I am going to order a Tesla Model 3. I'll take you through the process, I'll walk you through the finance and how it all works, and then most importantly, you can watch me click on that buy button. So please subscribe, comment below if you've got any recommendations as to which version I should go for, or any options or additional extras, and I will see you in the next video.